Here's John Wayne for your American Cancer Society. You think money can't buy happiness? Can when you give to us. Here's John Wayne for your American Cancer Society. You know, they may find a cure for cancer even without your help, but if I were you, I wouldn't bet my life on it. Here's John Wayne. Want to invest in your family's future? Give to the American Cancer Society. Here's John Wayne for your American Cancer Society. There is one chance in four you'll get cancer someday. Want to improve those odds? Help us find the answer. Where do we stand in the cancer fight? I'm Kirk Douglas, and in my work as an American Cancer Society volunteer, I've learned that we're saving cancer patients who might have been lost only a few years ago. As one leading scientist said, I believe there's an end to the road, and I'm confident that we're going to get there. Help us get there. Give generously to your American Cancer Society. Remember, it's your American Cancer Society. Hello, I'm Johnny Cash. I know how we can save thousands more people from cancer each year. Many lives are being lost because we're not acting in time. We're not going for regular checkups, and we're not paying proper attention to cancer's warning signals. Guard your life, won't you? And help wipe out cancer by giving generously to your American Cancer Society volunteer. Remember, it's your American Cancer Society. This is Barbara Walters. A woman's strongest weapon against breast cancer is examining her own breasts once a month. Please ask the American Cancer Society for a booklet on breast self-examination. Helping women protect their lives against breast cancer is one of many ways the American Cancer Society fights cancer. Help the fight. Give generously. Remember, it's your American Cancer Society. I'm Richard Crenna. When I began doing volunteer work for the American Cancer Society, I soon realized that it was a people organization. People helping people. People determined to wipe out cancer. Soon, one of these people will bring you a leaflet of life-saving information and will give you the chance to strike back at cancer. Please give generously. Remember, it's your American Cancer Society. Hi, I'm Elliot Gould, speaking for the American Cancer Society. They say regular health checkups are your best cancer insurance. So how about easing over to your phone and calling your doctor for an appointment? When he says you're fine, you'll feel great knowing you're as well as you feel. And while you're at it, how about helping to wipe out cancer? Give generously. Remember, it's your American Cancer Society. I'm Liv Ullmann. For some time now, I've been wanting to help in the fight against cancer. The best way I know is to urge you to learn the facts. Please ask your American Cancer Society for their free information-filled booklet. And to help conquer cancer, give generously. Remember, it's your American Cancer Society. I'm Lou Rawls. You know, when people ask me my approach to a song, I say, first, you have to care about the words. I look at people the same way. Do they really care about what they say? The people of the American Cancer Society do. They're people helping people. When your American Cancer Society volunteer calls, will you take care to give as much as you can? Remember, it's your American Cancer Society. Sure. When I heard
heard that one of every 13 women will develop breast cancer, I had to find out what we can do to protect ourselves. I learned the answer from the American Cancer Society, a physician's examination and monthly breast self-examination, and help wipe out cancer in your lifetime. Please give generously when your American Cancer Society volunteer calls. Remember, it's your American Cancer Society. I'm Henry Winkler and I'm an actor. I've played roles from Shakespeare to the Fonz. I'm now acting as spokesman for the American Cancer Society. We're inviting you to join our cast of millions, the millions of Americans who are playing a role in the fight against cancer. Send a generous check to the American Cancer Society. As Shakespeare said, many strokes, though with a little ax, felled the hardest timbered oak. Remember, it's your American Cancer Society. I'm Candace Bergen for your American Cancer Society. Have you ever wondered what it's like to go from door to door asking for contributions? Well, it's not an easy job. Yet volunteers all over the country are doing it to help save more lives in the cancer fight. So when your American Cancer Society volunteer calls, give generously. We want to wipe out cancer in your lifetime. Remember, it's your American Cancer Society. This is Carol O'Connor. I saw the reality of cancer when it came to my own family. And I saw how my relative's life was saved because of advances made in cancer research. We can't let lack of funds slow down the progress being made by science. Let's wipe out cancer in our lifetime. Join me in giving generously when your American Cancer Society volunteer calls. Remember, it's your American Cancer Society. Dolly Parton, and did you know that thousands are being saved from cancer every year? But the American Cancer Society believes thousands more can also be saved by regular medical examinations. If treated before it gets a chance to spread, most cancer can be cured. If you want more information on how to protect yourself against cancer, call your American Cancer Society and give generously. Let's wipe out cancer in our lifetime. Remember, it's your American Cancer Society. Where do we stand in the cancer fight? I'm Kirk Douglas, and in my work as an American Cancer Society volunteer, I've learned that we're saving cancer patients who might have been lost only a few years ago. These additional lives have been saved because of advances in research. And it's particularly gratifying to know that some of our greatest strides are being made against the kinds of cancer that strike children and young adults. This is not to say that we're close to conquering cancer but we do have the knowledge to save one out of two cancer patients if the disease is detected and treated in time. And each year we're able to save more and more patients. As one leading scientist said, I believe there's an end to the road and I'm confident that we're going to get there. Help us get there. Please give generously when your American Cancer Society volunteer calls. Remember, it's your American Cancer Society. Hi, I'm Richard Crenna. Do you know what Hodgkin's disease is? Well, I found out when I first began doing volunteer work for the American Cancer Society. Hodgkin's disease is a cancer that affects young adults. Just a few years ago, physicians were saving about 68% of these patients when the disease was detected and treated early. 68%. Now they're saving 90% of early cases. When you get to advanced cases, the figures are even more dramatic. The reason? Progress in chemotherapy. That's the use of drugs in treating patients, along with refinements in other means of treatment. This is one example of additional lives being saved every year. Help save more. Give generously when your American Cancer Society volunteer calls. And remember, it's your American Cancer Society.
Hello, I'm Johnny Cash. I know how we can save tens of thousands of additional lives from cancer every year. Now, I don't pretend to have some terrific new miracle cure. I just want to remind you that with the knowledge we now have, we could save well over 100,000 more cancer patients each year if only the disease were always detected early and treated promptly. It's really up to us to act on cancer's warning signals and see the doctor for health checkups regularly. Checkups will give your physician the opportunity to find cancer if it should be present, long before you yourself might be aware of it. Time is crucial. That's why I want you to take the simple steps that'll help protect your life against this disease and help wipe out cancer by giving generously when your American Cancer Society volunteer calls on you. Remember, it's your American Cancer Society. I'm Liv Ullmann. For some time now, I've been wanting to help in the fight against cancer. Usually, when I've thought about this disease, I imagined situations that might occur if I or someone close to me had cancer. I must admit, I mainly had negative thoughts. Then some literature from the American Cancer Society made me see that even today, half of all cancer patients could be saved if the disease were always detected and treated in time. So I realize the best way I can help in the cancer fight is to urge you, please ask your American Cancer Society for their free booklet of important information. And to help conquer cancer, give generously. Remember, it's your American Cancer Society. Hi, I'm Lou Rawls. You know, when people ask my approach to a song, I say, first, you have to care about the words. I mean, really care about what the song is saying. I look at people the same way. Do they really care about what they say? Well, I know one group of people who care. Your American Cancer Society. You might say they're singing a song of hope for all of us. There are thousands of volunteers who give their time and energy. They care. Many of those volunteers are people who've been cured of cancer and they care about helping other patients to lead a normal life again. And so I ask you to show you care by helping the American Cancer Society do its good works, by helping its volunteers in their efforts. You see, when your American Cancer Society volunteer calls, you should take care to give as much as you can, because we want to wipe out cancer in your lifetime. Remember, it's your American Cancer Society. Sure. Anyone who knows me knows how interested I am in health. So you can see why I want to know what the American Cancer Society has to say about how we can help safeguard our lives against cancer. For example, constant overexposure to the sun can age or damage your skin and lead to cancer. Protect yourself by sunning in moderation or wear protective clothing. Here's another important safeguard. Since early cancer is the easiest to cure, the American Cancer Society advises us to have regular health checkups. That gives your doctor the chance to find the disease, if it is present, long before you might be aware that anything is wrong. Knowing about safeguards is great, but we want to wipe out cancer in our lifetime. Please help. Please give generously when your American Cancer Society volunteer calls on you. Remember, it's your American Cancer Society. I'm Henry Winkler and I'm an actor and I'm proud of it. I've played many roles from Shakespeare to the Fonz. And right now I'm playing what I consider a significant spokesman role for the American Cancer Society. We're inviting you to join our cast of millions, the millions of Americans who are playing a role in the fight against cancer. Scientists in research laboratories, the people helping cancer patients with rehabilitation and other services, many of them former cancer patients themselves. All those volunteers playing an important role, ringing doorbells to help raise the funds needed to bring about a happy ending to our centuries-old drama, the war against cancer. That's your role. Act. Send a generous check now to your American Cancer Society. It's not a small part. 
As Shakespeare said, many strokes, though with a little axe, felled the hardest timbered oak. Remember, it's your American Cancer Society. The doorbell rings, and there's an American Cancer Society volunteer standing in front of you. Well, what goes through your mind? I'm Candace Bergen, and I wonder if you ever thought what it's like to go from door to door giving out important information about cancer and asking for contributions. It's not an easy job. Yet volunteers all over the country do it every year. Many volunteers have already won their own battles with cancer, and many have had cancer in the family. Some have become deeply involved with rehabilitation programs like Reach to Recovery, which help women cope with the after effects of breast surgery. The main thing is that all volunteers are working to help save more lives and to help raise the dollars needed to keep up the fight against this disease. So when your American Cancer Society volunteer calls, would you please give generously? We want to wipe out cancer in your lifetime. Remember, it's your American Cancer Society. I'm Carol O'Connor. Cancer in TV stories can be easily cured by the scriptwriter, but in life, cures come only through important research. I'm telling you this because I found out the difference between a TV show and life the hard way when a member of my real family developed cancer. It makes you feel pretty defenseless. But there are things to do. Your American Cancer Society wants you to know about the safeguards. For example, women should know about the pap test and should have one as part of their regular health checkup. For people over 40, talk to your physician or ask at the clinic about a procto as part of your checkup. Please protect your life. And one other thing, that research I was talking about needs everyone's support. Help wipe out cancer in your lifetime. Give to your American Cancer Society when your volunteer comes around. And give generously. Remember, it's your American Cancer Society. <laughs> 